To mount the valve box, next insert the long telescopic tube all the way into the exit side connection. Then, screw the short telescopic tube into the opening of the irrigation valve. The arrowheads on the irrigation valve point in the direction of flow. Next, insert the irrigation valve with the short telescopic tube into the distributor exit of the valve box. Screw the long telescopic tube into the irrigation valve exit and fit a clamp into the hole. Repeat the process five more times with the other valves. Incidentally, if you would like to connect more than one valve box, there's a special Gardena connector which you can order from the spare parts service. Hooking up the valve box. First, label the three valves with the numbered yellow stickers. Fasten the clamp brackets in the valve box. Each valve has two cables. Attach one from each to the clamps one, two, and three. Attach each of the others to a clamp C. If you use two valve boxes, you need to connect these with one another. To do so, label the valves in the second box with the numbered stickers. Attach a cable from each valve to the clamps 4, 5 and 6. Attach each of the second cables to a clamp C. Then connect the clamps 4, 5, 6 and C of the first valve box and the clamps 4, 5, 6 and C of the second valve box with a short piece of cable. Next comes the connecting cable for the control unit. Insert the rubber seals into the provided holes in the valve box. The connecting cable can run into the box on the left or the right as needed. Just use the seals accordingly. Next, insert the connecting cable into the valve box and hook up the seven individual stripped leads to the clamps one to six and C of the terminal strip. Now, just close the valve box securely and bury it.